Okay, hey everybody, I'm Magnasword2, and today I'm going to be showing you a deck I made called a Discover Zoo deck. Uh, I just made it yesterday, I'm not sure if anyone's done anything similar, so bear with me if you see anything similar to anything else you've seen. But for now, I'd like to just explain this to you. So I'm using the Druid, uh, Dr Druid class right now, simply because of the wild growth that can help with Curator. But I'll explain how this deck works really. Okay, the deck works in a way that you pretty much discover everything you'll need to continue generating zoo and generating all of the uh, monsters you need to swarm in the mid game. Uh, this isn't early game, this is mid game to late game at best. Anyway, so how this works is uh, you pretty much use zoo bots to power up your creatures you get in your hand for a massive swarm about, ooh, shall we say, turn 8, seeing as how you'll bring them to your hand using the Curator. I use Gorilla Bot with Zubot and Harvest Golem in order to draw more Curators or more Zubots, because there are only 9 mechs you can discover in the game, and the chances of you drawing a Zubot, another Gorilla Bot, or a Curator are pretty much guaranteed. Not completely, but the fact is... With the Gorilla Bot, you'll almost get something, always get something you need. So I run it at two to work with the Zoo Bots and Harvest Golems, because if you can grab more Curators, you can get more draw power, and then more, um, you can just throw out more monsters. Wild Growth obviously accentuates the fact that you out uh, mana your opponent, and you can then swarm to your heart's content while they say have only six mana. If you uh, have managed to draw them both, that's how that works. Fairy Dragons are here because they can be buffed with Zubot. They can also be uh, used in conjunction with Twilight Guardians, Chillmore, uh, all, and Never Spite Historian. All the dragons work together to create more dragons. And uh, you, Chillmore generally needs to be there to act as a field wipe, as this deck generally works on the premise of your monsters will kill their monsters. So you don't have to worry about needing field clear all of the time. However, swipes needed for a 1-1 one, one, one full mana swarm early game, like say with Paladins. Um, Ysera's here to generate more cards in your hand at late game, because once you've started swarming, you'll start running out a bit, unless you've managed to draw two creators with Gorilla Bot, at which point you'll practically never run out of cards until they're dead. Uh, strengths and weaknesses of this deck are... Uh, they work. It works very well against uh, stall decks such as Warrior, Warrior Cthulhu. Um, but the problem is, it doesn't work very well against like Face Hunters or Face Warlocks or uh, Discard Warlocks, as I've seen. Uh, it's very early days. Uh, I've only just got back into the game, actually. Uh, final combo for this deck is you can use your Menagerie Wardens with your Adult Grizzlies. Adult Grizzlies here work as the buff machine, so if you use a Menagerie Warden with your Adult Grizzly, you'll get another one. A Menagerie Warden will be buffed to a 7-7 seven, seven if you use it with an Adult Grizzly, and for a 6 cost, that's just incredibly worth it. Plus, you'll get two Adult Grizzlies, meaning you can use it with, say, if you've got any Enchanted Ravens in your hand, to get a free 4-4 four, four for one cost. Uh, you can then also get a 4-3 and a 3-3 Taunt from a Balfin Tidehunter. Uh, this deck only needs Balfin Tidehunters. Those are the only Murlocs you'll get and you'll draw them out through your curator. Suffice to say, they work well enough with Adult Grizzly and Zubot that they, they're worth putting in, but there's not worth putting any more Murlocs in here. Uh, beasts in this deck uh, work sort of like a... They're, they're used as an engine for buffing and to get out uh, quick monsters at the beginning of the game. Essentially, you don't need too many of them. You'll draw out your adult grizzlies much faster using the curator if you only have a few uh, few beasts in your deck. Therefore, you can be free to use uh, mechs and dragons as the forefront of this deck. Now, Twilight Drake I decided to put in a little while ago, simply because because of Curator you draw so much cards. Uh, there's one thing that I would suggest in this deck that I haven't put here, which is to use Bran, because of his double battle, uh, battle cry ability. However, I haven't found anywhere yet that I would like to take out to put him in. 
Uh, everything in this deck seems like it's essential for where it is right now. Even Soul of the Forest. I mean, if you use Battlefin and Raven Swarms and then Soul of the Forest, everything. That's uh, seven cost wh where you get three creatures and then you'll get three creatures back if they die. So I'm going to go into a game to just show you how this works in case I've confused all of you. So yeah, I haven't particularly uh, mastered this deck yet. It's n something I came up with last night and I've tinkered with to a point where it seems to be winning a fair few games. So I thought I'd share it with you guys and hopefully you can uh, work out some things I haven't. Right, so here I need a Never Spite in my hand. And since I already have Chillmore, I should keep that in my hand just to get a Never Spite. At least that's what I'm thinking. Okay, I didn't get a Never Spite, but I did get enough to uh, cover myself. This isn't tracking. Me. Right, you'll always want at least one three cost in your hand. You also want the uh, mana grow if you can get it, but if you can't, that's fine. Because you can always use that later on to draw cards if need be. One idea I always have is always have a dragon in your hand. Okay, now we've got two dragons, which means I can use that one if I need to. Okay. Harvest Golem. If I should draw a Gorilla Bot soon, that would work out really well. I've got a Wrath and a Swipe in my hand to cover if he tries to swarm. Here it comes. Okay. Um, there's my Gorilla Bot, which means I can't allow this to die properly. Uh, let me see. What can I do? Alright, I can get rid of that, but I'm scared of that. If that snakes, I'm kind of screwed. Although I do have a swipe, so I can use it next turn if need be. Alright, let's get rid of that. I just gotta hope he doesn't kill this thing. It doesn't look like he's gonna, because uh, he'd need charge, and... I don't particularly know anyone who uses charge on a 1-1 basis here. Okay, we're good. We're definitely good. Right, so... Oh, I got Never Spike, too. Well, use the Gorilla Bot first to have used the mech that I've got. Curator! Just what I needed. Boom. Like I said, you've got a choice of nine mechs that could come up in that discovery. I'm pretty sure that the discover tries to, um... Like, make it so the levels are balanced out, which means it's even more easy to get Curator than it... Than, uh other discover cards I think. I can't guarantee that. That's just what I think. Anyway, swipe that. Just get rid of his uh, little slime. Okay, so next turn I'm going to be using my wild growth and I'm also going to be using never spite and then the fairy. Uh, no, nope, I want to leave the fairy dragon actually. Ooh, that's a problem. Hold on. Okay, I've got a twilight drag. Brilliant. I think I'll use that actually. Use my Never Spite. Uh, Deathwing, just in case. I still can't deal with that thing yet. I'm gonna hit him with this just to trigger that. Yeah. I don't like that being there. So next turn I'll use Curator. Unless I need anything to. I need to pull out Chillmore to cover this. I'm gonna need to pull out Chillmore. Definitely gonna need to pull out Chillmore. Bollocks! Alright. Here we go. Hit him with that. I would like to hit that with this just so it dies, but that's not gonna work out. Do -do 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 -do. Too bad it's gonna die. Sorry. <laughs> okay, that's not gonna die. Say goodbye to all your creatures, buddy. Alright, we're doing good. We're doing good. That's gonna hit me. Sorry. Oh well. Right, I can put out this enchanted raven too. Just so I can abuse it later with Zubot. Right. So the swarm will begin next term. And then we'll be able to uh, hopefully kill him in a couple of turns. Yep. 
That's not very nice. Right, so I'll get my taunt back next turn with the bile fin, thankfully. Right. Stout battled Grizzly. Um, right, so from there, we'll summon a fairy dragon. We'll summon another bile fin. And summon another fairy dragon. Yeah, I'm really gonna need the, uh, I'm really gonna need all of this just to kick his ass, hopefully. If he's... Oh, shit, it's Deathwing! Do you know what time it is, folks? Do you know what time it is? Counter Deathwing! With Deathwing! <laughs> and now we're top decking. Well played. If this is King Crush, I ki I cry! I absolutely cry! I cry so hard! My god! Oh, Ysera, why do you... Why do you screw me? I cry at this. This is the worst. Top decking shit piles everywhere. No. And I'm dead? Yes, I'm dead. Oh well. I enjoy reading. Jesus Christ. What kind of crap was that? Maggard. Okay, so, um, I'm sure you can see how the deck works. I'm pretty sure nobody expected a hunter to bring out Deathwing. Let's try again. <laughs> what even was that? Hurdy hurdy, look at me. I'm a hunter and I run Deathwing. Aren't I against meta? <laughs> My god, why? <laughs> Oh, this is a warrior. This will be good. I must protect the wild. All right, so I've got my dragon. I've got my never spite. This is good. I don't want Balfin in my opening hand. Let's move these across. All right, wild growth. Brilliant. Just what I needed. Turn one, wild growth. Seems good to me. All right, coin, wild growth. Boom. So I don't want to use Never Spite straight away because uh, the Wild Growth will continue onwards and I want to do it while I'm safe because he's a warrior and he won't attack me on turn one. Unless he's got Rush, which would be against the meta again. I should point out I hate the meta, but it's the only way we can really understand how people do things. I would like this Dragonkin Sorcerer. I'm using that because I haven't got any four cost in my hand and it would... Uh, It'll Don't make things better. Oh, hi there. Listen closely. Hmm. I need a mech if I want to take out that guy. Alright. I can't let this live. <laughs> if it lives, it's going to do all sorts of random BS. Some vile fin. I didn't want to use my vile fin without the adult grizzly, but he's giving me no choice if he's going Cthulhu crazy. Cthoon, 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 Right, I've got my combo there. I can do that in a bit. So my Dranken Sorcerer. I don't really have anything I can use to uh, abuse its ability, but I can still use Zubat if I get draw one. Do you hear its call? My God, go away, you stupid, stupid Cthoon, Cthoon people. <laughs> I can use my uh, hero power to get rid of him. Or I could just do this. Hello, free card. Mm -mm. Alright, I'm going to summon the adult grizzly now. Since I've got two, I can use my combo later on. And I can then use this adult grizzly to power up everything, anything I summon. Or I can use the combo next turn. Which it looks like it's going to happen. There it is. There we go. Hmm. Join the pack. Okay, there goes the combo. I'm gonna expect him to do something about that in a bit. 
he's probably going to execute it. I can't really attack it with, <coughs> with these two because I want to leave the Adult Grizzly alive. I just want him to waste cards on it, you know? Oh wow, 10 armor, wow, shucks. Right, he's killed one of them. Uh, I need to draw a mech. Really, really <laughs> need to draw a mech. Alright. One. Hmm, what can I do here? I can kill it with that. Some Twilight Drake, give me that gorgeous 1-1 one, one action. I'll wait and use that Wild Growth when I need to draw cards. Uh, Gorilla Bot. Uh, Zubot would be really helpful right about now. But I don't have one. When do I summon that? Is he going to execute that? He should do. That's what I would do. Okay, all the taunt in the world then. Nice. Nice. Oh, there's me Zubot. I don't have a Murloc to fully accentuate it, but it should be fine. Alright, let's zoom out it up. And now we Gorilla Bot. Uh, didn't get my particular thing I needed, but I did get a Psychotron, which should protect against a few things. I do have a second Gorilla Bot, so there's always the chance of a second Curator. But Psychotron is the best choice there because of its Divine Shield taunting ability. Hey! My god, stop shield blocking. <laughs> Alright, and my field is at the moment the best thing on the best thing around. Brilliant. I get to discover a beast. Brilliant. Uh, Direwolf Alpha. I will now be summoning this right here. Alright, Dragony Dragon, you've served your purpose. Uh, Gorilla Bot take on that. Alright, let's deal some heavy damage! Hmm. I want to keep Chillmore just in case he summons Cthulhu now. If he summons Cthulhu now, I can deal with him. Start forcing him into it. Oh no, that's not Cthulhu. That's a bit janky as fuck, really. Thanks for your janky contribution, sir. There's the curator! How you doing, buddy? Get me beast, get me fairy dragon, get me bluefin tiled hunter. Get buffed. Right, I can take all these out right now. Right, I no longer need this adult grizzly as I can summon the next one. Uh, let's get rid of all the damage crack. I'd like to keep it though, because it could still do wonders. Uh, die. One, two, buckle my shoe. Put that in case of Cthulhu. Just because we need more, uh, more defense on the field to cover the curator and stuff, you know? If he summons Cthulhu now, he's not going to get much out of it. But it might be his only option. I want to force him into using it. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> oh, desperation! The tides are definitely in my favour. Deal one damage to many of its five summon at 2 2 slime. Okay. More armor! Brilliant! <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Now let's begin with the divine shielding. Hello! 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 Right, there's no way he's gonna be able to kill me with that. Therefore, we can just go right around it. Say goodbye to your armor. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the only thing I'm afraid of right now is a brawl. 
If he summons, if he uses a brawl, I can still summon whatever. Oh, there's Cthulhu. Knew it would happen. And he's dead. <laughs> GG, buddy. GG. So yeah, that is how this deck is supposed to be used properly, and the potential it can have. I mean, as you can see at the end of the game, I still had a ton of options. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any ideas on how I can improve that, like adding Bran, <laughs> let me know. I will be happy to um, happy to be part of your discussion. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Bye bye.